Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. Today, we are going to be tackling power. God, I hate the fact that it's called power. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but as a kid who struggled with his R's when he was much younger, it is difficult to be like, power. We're gonna make some power. Power! As you see, we are going to do some really cool things today. Power is actually just a really cool mod, in my opinion. I actually really do enjoy it, even if it is a little difficult to say the name power for me. Guys, I appreciate all of the support. We are almost at 4,000 subscribers. Things are going crazy. And guess what, guys? In about three months, my channel will be about a year old. So, I wanna see how far we can go before the year is up. So guys, if you like these videos, if you're enjoying them, and maybe you just might not have hit the sub button, hit the sub button. Maybe there's something you'd like me to do. Maybe there's something you'd like to see. Like how today I'm gonna to cover how to automate the power orb using refined storage, just like that behind me. Look at it. It goes by itself, it's automated. You can put in multiple things at once and it's easy. Super easy. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it today. So, body, let's get started. God, concrete just looks so good. I love it. I'm addicted to frame blocks, by the way. They're so good and they make it look great. I love the way this looks. Ah! Anyway, so if we wanna get started with some power stuff, power, power. God, I hate saying that. We wanna get started with the power stuff. We actually need to make some recipes and everything. And that's what we're doing over here. So if we wanna jump right in, we can do at power here and then we can look for all the basic stuff. Now I wanna make a bunch of recipes here, but basically the way power works is you make these like little capacitors and stuff, and then you energize certain materials to make these crystals and the different kind of like energized steel and stuff all the way up. And that is like the basis of power. Now power has like a billion different options. Like it has obviously storage. It has wireless transfer using ender cells, which is pretty cool, or ender gates. They're pretty dope too. We also have like energizing. So to energize certain materials, we need energizing rods. It even has like basic starter. Like this is basically just like a gas or this is basically just like a coal generator, right? They call it the furninator. And then there's also the mag, mag, magma, to, magma, magma, Magmatter, Magmator. Which one is it? Sorry if uh, I sound a little hoarse. Both my kids are sick, which means that I get sick, which is great. But everybody always talks about these thermo generators because, you know, the whole premise of this is to see what is the best mid game kind of power that you can get. That's decently easy to, to get a hold of. I personally really like the reactors, but I feel like the reactors are a little bit, mm, it's a little bit harder to get to in my opinion. So I do want to try the thermo generators out and we can try the reactors as well. But the nitro crystals here, let's see, where are they at? The nitro crystals to make these things, you will need a nether star per 16 and that's uh it's kind of huge all right so let's start making some of these basic recipes now you will actually need the wrench but i'm not going to get the recipe for that so these basic capacitors are usually the first recipe that you want to get so we're going to grab this and we're going to grab pretty much all of this right here so capacitor all of these different capacitors all the way up we're going to grab all of those recipes and if you were noticing while you were making these recipes, you're going to see this dielectric paste. This is actually like the probably the I don't know. It's like the basic crafting material that you're going to need pretty much all throughout power. And it's just made with some blaze powder, some clay balls and some coal, which actually I think clay is the only thing that we don't have a ton of. And I wonder if it actually drops from a mob. Let's see if we can get normal clay and see if it drops from a mob. Ah, it does not drop from a mob. Okay, so clay is about the only thing that we're gonna actually have to go and dig. We might actually just go into the ground for a little bit to get it, but eventually we're gonna, we're gonna go get some dirt essence and stuff and start mystical agriculture a little bit later on. But overall, that's fine for right now. Another big thing is the dielectric casing. You're gonna want this recipe, which comes with its own recipe here, which is like this, which we're gonna want the two specific recipes here. So if I hit you here, I can go back and see that I can convert this over into the regular one. So if I click like this, and then we wanna get this recipe right here, I want that one too. So I do wanna grab the energizing rod stuff here too. This is pretty simple to get to. I think you can actually skip the basic ones, I wanna say. Nope. So yeah, let's just go ahead and grab these energizing rods so that way we can go up and get all the recipes for them. 
And this will just make it a whole lot easier in the long run, I promise. So I'm gonna take all of these recipes right here and just stick them into one of my crafters because this is gonna be the ones that are just you craft basically via um, your inventory. You don't really need anything else, but there are a couple of things that we're gonna need. One is we're gonna need the energizing orb. So we can get the recipe for this to make this super easy for us to make. This is why, exactly why I actually use um, automated stuff like that because now I can just type in energizing orb and click here, click start, and it'll go ahead and craft it for me. So the energizing orb is pretty much what Pala centralizes around. So energizing orb is where you turn normal vanilla materials into the Pala materials like the niotic crystal, stuff like that, blazing crystal, and it's pretty important. We're gonna wanna grab some other recipes here a little bit later, but we also need to go ahead and get us some rods here. And I don't believe that we can get, if we can go to rod here, I don't believe we can get the normal rod. Let's see, the basic rod, I wanna say. I don't think we can start with this because it does require us to craft the basic capacitor which we don't have the recipe so let's grab that basic capacitor recipe real quick and throw it in here and now if i come over here and do starter i think we can actually go basic let's see let's see if we can do the basic one i usually like having like nine of the basic ones to start out with and you can because you don't need of you don't need any of the materials like you don't need any of the power materials to actually make this so you can just hit start and let it all auto craft there we go we got nine of them which is good now i will note that you will actually need the energy cables from Pala itself. It, it doesn't actually like any of the other cables, so I like to go ahead and make a couple of these at least to, to begin with. Looks like you don't even need the starter cables for this. Yeah, it looks like you could just have that. Cool. And with these, you could just go straight to basic because it just needs some iron, which is kind of cool. But it doesn't hurt for us to go ahead and upgrade to the next version. And we're going to grab the rest of the recipes for these two. Okay, now I should be able to make the basic ones of these. And go ahead and craft nine of these, which are pretty easy. Just the basic energy cable. Well, it's going to make me 12, and that's fine. And then we can just go ahead and make ourselves a point. And this is so how we get power. I still don't understand what these little point things are around it. It looks like they're actually like, maybe it's like a rendering problem. I'm not sure. So we are going to test all of this stuff in in this room right here. Now I want to redecorate this just like I did this one because this one looks absolutely amazing and I love the way concrete looks so I'm probably going to end up doing the entire base like this because I have a lot of problems. We're going to start this out and set this up over here. It's actually a really cool way to do this and uh, you can actually design some like really cool looking like arrays for you to energize things which is pretty dope but i'm gonna put these on the ceiling like this i wonder if i can yep i'm gonna put these little rods on the ceiling like this just because it looks a whole lot cooler and we can go ahead and pop these on here oops and yeah that looks pretty cool and in the center down here i'm gonna place my orb now this is probably actually gonna look really bad for whenever i go and try and automate this but we'll talk about that uh a little bit later. Now, all of these should be getting a charge with our flux point set up. And now here is our energizing orb. So I did say you will need this wrench right here. You can hold shift and right click and it will switch between config, link and rotate. So link is basically how you link one of these energizing rods to the energizing orb. These are automatically linked because we put this this down in front of it and it found it, which is good. So we know that if we put anything in here, it will automatically power this. I kind of want to move this up. I'm going to move this up one. Okay, now we're going to make sure that these are linked and now we have a little bit more room to move with. Like I said, these things actually get really cool looking. So especially when you're beaming things in here. So you can come up with some really cool looking ways to do this. I need some light real quick. So let me grab these edge lights and put them around the bottom here so I can get a little bit more light so we can see what we're doing here. And we'll go around the edges a little bit later. Oh God, look at that. You can see the, the like fuzziness right there. It's because of the rendering of this. Maybe that's too much light. What if we just put one right there? Yeah, one will be fine. Okay, so the basis of power, very simple, is that you mix things together to get yourself these specific materials, like energized steel. If you come over here to the power energizing part, it takes one iron ingot plus one gold ingot, and it gives you two energized steel, which is pretty cool. There is another recipe for this. I'm gonna hit A on this, but I'm gonna come over here to the block of energized steel, and you can actually just make a full-on block of these if you use blocks of iron and gold instead, which is what we're gonna do. So the way this works is you put these two in here, and if there is a valid recipe, it will beam it, and then it'll give it energy, and then it'll turn it into whatever it is that the output is. So like for this one, this one is energized steel, which we're gonna need a couple of these. I'm gonna just go ahead and make this. 
And this is how you get to the next tier of things because you get energized steel out of this and energized steel is used to make the next upgrade, which is hardened. So if you come over here and you look, you see starter, basic, harden, blazing. As it goes up, it takes more and more and different things to make it. So like, for example, the next tier is blazing crystal. Now you actually don't have to have the highest tier or the next tier or whatever to make these. You could literally just do this if you wanted to. Uh, you could do this at an earlier version if you wanted to. And like, for example, if we wanted to make the next tier at past Harden, we're going to make a blaze mesh, which is basically nine of these blaze rods. And we're going to stick this in here and it will start beaming it in, but it just becomes slower as you see. Now to upgrade like the basic cables and these basic energy rods, you will actually need the next tier. So you will need that energized steel. So even though you can make blazing crystal or even nitro crystals, if you have the power for it, it doesn't really matter because you can't just straight out make something from the nitro crystals. You'll always have to have the tier before. I know there's certain things that you don't, but like for example here with a the thermo generator, this is actually spirited, which is the emerald version and does take the diamond version before it. So that's important to know. We're just going to go ahead and make a couple of the basic ones. So like, for example, here, this is the diamond or the niotic. It takes a while with these basic like rods. It's not it's not really going to do a whole lot of good if you do this super early like this, but you can eventually upgrade all in one go because it's slow. Now, if you do have something like the time of the bottle, you can speed this up and speed how these things zap things in here. But this will output as much power as it possibly can up to 800,000, which I don't even create that much. And that's kind of the reason why we're doing this to see if this is good power generation. So that took forever just to get one block here. So we can turn these into the normal ones. We could do the same with the blazing crystals and the energized steel. How do you automate this? Well, that's the difficult part. If you want to automate this, there's a couple of different ways and some people have figured it out themselves and figured out different ways to do it. But I'm going to use a very compact design that I really like because it uses modular routers and it's honestly the best. So if you did this in seven and followed me along in my seven playthrough, we're actually going to do something different. And this way we don't actually have to worry about doing like annoying stuff. So the first thing you're going to need is a network receiver and a transmitter. This is going to connect us to our system over here. All you're going to need to do is take a network card right click it here and then go put it in your transmitter that's over here or wherever your transmitter is that's where mine is and this will connect us to our system next up we're going to need a crafter so just a regular refined storage crafter will work it could just you could make it a, you know let's go ahead and make it a netherite crafter screw it doesn't really matter what the speed is but we got to make sure this is pointing towards the energizing orb here next up i'm going to be using modular routers very simple just place the modular router right on top of this here netherite crafter and then you want to get your recipes that you want for power so let's go make all of those so here's two of them right here we have energized steel and i need to make the blaze crystal here so let's go get all of those and then i'm going to do this for all of the different kinds of crystals and all of the things that i want to be able to make so that way it knows how to make this and for the nitro crystal you want to make sure that you know how to make a block of blazing crystals so again you can make that blaze mesh that i was talking about that's what we already did so I'm gonna get the recipe for that as well so that it knows how to do it. And now I'm gonna get all the blocks to tell that crafter how to make this using blocks instead. Cause I think that's probably a lot better anyway. And you can't make a block of nitro crystals just by sticking it into your, your energizing orb. It's not gonna work. So don't worry about that. So now what we could do is come over here and we put these recipes into this just like this. And now it knows how to make the recipes, but we have to do some important things here. So we have to tell our modular router to be the kind of guide to say, hey, pull this from here. The first thing that you need to make is a puller module Mach 2. So you need to make this and it needs to be the Mach 2 so that way it can actually pull from a range. So from here, I'm going to shift right click on the energizing orb. So then I'm gonna take and put my puller module into here and then you're going to need to make you a detector module. So the detector module basically says, okay, if I have something in my buffer, I'm going to make a redstone signal and you tell me where I want to sit or like push this out. Out. So essentially, if the puller module pulls something from the energizing orb, it's going to say, hey, here's a redstone signal, push that redstone signal down. And then we could put this in here and then use our last thing here, which is our sender module. So what you have to do or what you can do, and we could test this is we just put an interface. I know this works. I know absolutely this works. And then you take your sender module, you shift right click over here to your interface, and then you put this in. Now this has to be in order here. It has to be in order. 
it has to be puller module, detector module, and then it has to be sender module. And our last step that's probably the most important step is that in here, you wanna set your crafter mode to redstone pulse inserts next set. That's very important. So to recap this very simply, you have to have the crafter pointing towards the energizing orb. The crafter needs to be set to redstone pulse inserts next set. The modular router up here will need a puller module, which is set to pull from the energizer orb. The next module is the detector module. This determines if there's anything in the buffer, it will automatically send out a redstone pulse. That way it lets your refined storage system know, hey, I've already pulled something. I've got something in my inventory. That means that the energizing orb is done with whatever it is it's crafting. And then the sender module will take and send whatever's in the buffer into the interface behind it, which is connected over here in your network receiver. So it just sends it back to your inventory or sends it back to your system. And that should be all that you need to do. So to test this, for example, we have all of these recipes in here. Let's go ahead and say, let's make ourselves a niotic crystal block. So if I come over here and I type in niotic and let's go to craft, we're gonna make two of these. This will be a good test. So if we click start, it should throw this in here and the sender module, well, I guess it's actually not pulling it out, which is good. will automatically look at this and be like, are the puller module rather we will say, okay, Hey, I will pull this when it's done, whenever it's completed. So let's wait. The biggest thing that I feel like people end up doing are struggling with, with this is, and I've struggled myself. Whenever you request like a billion things from the energizing orb it doesn't want to do that it just says screw that i'm just going to push everything into this but this allows it to do one set at a time so let's see what happens so it's done it gets pulled and then there we go another one of the crystals are being made the buffer is empty which means that it went into our system and we could double check that by typing in niotic and there we go we have a block of niotic crystal Dope. So now we have the automated version of whatever it is that we want to make in terms of all of the materials. So with that being said, you can actually come over here and do those rods just like we did before. And in theory, if you have all of the recipes and stuff for it, you could click start and it will actually craft everything, including all of the materials that it takes to make it. Now, I don't suggest on doing this in the beginning unless you wanna wait like 65 and a half years, but it definitely is something you can do. Now, it does take more power to be able to make those certain blocks and stuff. So that's why we want to upgrade these rods first. I will say, if your modular router isn't pushing fast enough, you can always throw in a speed upgrade or there's other upgrades like, I believe there's the stack upgrade to make it push a stack at a time if it's not going fast enough for you. So sweet. So what I am gonna do is what we can do is we can go ahead and switch these rods out and get a higher version of them. So let's say if we want to go rod, I think we can safely go and convert those niotic crystals that we have right here back into the regular crystals. Because if we look at the niotic one, it takes two of these capacitors, which each capacitor takes four crystals, right? We want to make a bunch of these. We're going to need a lot more crystals. So let's go blazing. Let's make ourselves nine of these blazing rods here. Click start and see what happens. We should get a blaze rod in here. It should zap it, pull it, blaze rod, zap it, pull it, and it'll do this until it's completed. And you could always come over here and look and you see that it's got to actually create 22 of these to be able to make it, which is just going to kind of take a little bit. We can also put in our energized steel and it should automatically reset this. We can hit cancel here and come over here and type in blazing. And again, we want to make eight more of these since we already have one crafted. We hit start and it should be able to make it now and it doesn't have to make those other ones. It doesn't have to make the energized steel because it's already all in there, which is good. It's just taking a little bit because the crafter is slower or rather the orb is slower. So if we actually take these out while they're being made here and we replace these while they're being made. You can speed up the process a little bit because these are faster. Okay, so now what if we wanted to make even more stuff? Now that we have the blazing stuff, let's go ahead and see if we can make us a bunch of these blocks. See how fast it makes. Okay, so we have our diamond down and make sure that they're all linked. But it looks like they're linked. It's just not showing the animation, which is kind of weird. We just want to double check to make sure. Yep, it's all linked. It's just taking a little bit and it is pulling about 11,000 FE per tick. So we're going to need to upgrade our power here soon enough. 
Oh, I messed up. So the goal of making all of these niotic blocks is so we can get more of these crystals because now what we can be do is we can go over here and, and type in niotic just like we just did. And this time we're gonna get nine of these. Now the thing is, is we could just make it craft all the normal stuff or we can grab all of these and we should be able to just take these blazing ones and directly upgrade them if we have the right recipe. It does need to craft a couple of things, but ah, yes, it will need some more energized steel. We gotta pay attention here because it doesn't actually look at all of these rods as the same because some of these rods that we have in here actually have power inside of it and it doesn't know the difference. So to make nine, we're gonna need 18 capacitors. So we can come in here and just type in niotic and then make 18 of these capacitors. The next up, we're gonna need some block of quartz, which we have. Have, and then the we're gonna need nine of these dielectric ca casings so let's go ahead and make that and now we should just be able to make the recipe here because all it needs is those blazing rods because the recipe is kind of messed up because it's looking specifically for ones without power it's just messing up so you could handcraft these just like this or you could skip the whole process if you wanted to and just make these and not care about your blazing ones. Now we're gonna double check to make sure that these are linked to this right here. We wanna make sure it's all linked and the power is getting to them. And we should be able to make pretty much a lot of things very quickly. So if we go to Niotic, we come over here, we type block of Niotic, we do 10. Let's see how much faster it is this time. A lot faster, but how much power is it pulling? Eh, about 11,000, not too bad. Yeah, this is much faster. But this allows us to keep going to the next version, which is Spirited. And I'm gonna show you one last trick that actually makes this a whole lot easier. So what you could do is you could take this Spirited Crystal recipe outside of this. You don't want this. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take out the other regular ones because you don't want those either. And I'm gonna show you why here in a second. So instead of having the basic recipes here, we're gonna override this. If I come over here and type in power, instead of having the basic recipes like we just did, you can actually just use the block recipe into the single ingot recipe instead. So this way that it just makes you the blocks. If you have the power for it, you have the items for it, you can just skip everything and just go straight to the blocks, which is good. And that's what I like to do. So blazing crystal, we're gonna grab the block of blazing right here, same thing. And I'm just gonna keep reusing these recipes that I already use are these power patterns rather, we're just gonna make all of those. So now the system knows that it will make the block and then just break that down into the nine of whatever. So like, for example, if we go to spirited, I shouldn't have any in here, but if I want to make, let's say 20 of these, it's actually gonna make 27 because it's gonna craft three of these blocks instead which these actually take a little bit longer. Yeah, if I turn off my shaders, it does actually work, which is kind of sad. And if I turn my shaders back on, it acts like there's actually something out there. Oh, hey, buddy. So I know for a fact to be able to make this, we're going to need another 18 of these crystals right here, these spirited capacitors. So we can go ahead and request 18 of these. And what this will do is it'll say, hey, we need blocks of emerald. We don't know, we don't have the recipe for blocks of emerald. That's easy because I have like almost infinite emeralds at this point. And then we go back over here to the spirited ones. And then we can go ahead again and request 18 of these. Just say, go ahead and craft me all of these. And it'll be like, okay, I'll just go ahead and make all of these into blocks. Which is what I want. One thing I just realized is these basic power cables are actually what's limiting everything. So we're gonna need the better version of this. So let's just go ahead and make nine of these basic cables maybe. I wonder if it'll let me make it, these niotic cables. Let's see. Probably still working on that other stuff that I wanted it to make. Okay, we could always just come over here to this and just cancel it if we wanted to just click, click cancel and this will make the cables first. Back to those spirited ones. Looks like we got six. I'm gonna want to make another 12. Let's see if that makes it a whole lot faster or not. Now I feel like they're not linked. There is our eight spirited, or 18 rather, spirited capacitors. So now we just need to make 18 of these as well. And then we can upgrade all the way to spirited. Break these and let's upgrade them. Oops. All right, cool. And now that we're fully upgraded, minus the fact that we need nitro crystals, which again, this is actually gonna take a nether star. That's uh, a little bit out of my reach right now. We're just gonna have to go kill Buddy, we're just gonna have to go kill, uh, you know, the wither a couple of more times. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. I do wanna take and break my videos down from being like 40 something minutes long to kind of shorter form, like maybe like, I don't know, 20 to 25 minutes, somewhere around there, because I think that's much more achievable for me to do. So I think that's kind of the plan for right now. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these videos, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. On the next episode, we're gonna be tackling the thermo generators and we're going to be looking at the reactors as well as redesigning the room a little bit see if we can add some more stuff to it and see how it goes just to see if power really is as good as everybody says it is guys 
I want to thank you so much for watching, as always. And until next episode, bye! Bye! <laughs>